Hey everyone, my name is Kerry and welcome back to a new Escape from Tarkov video. Today I'm going to be analyzing some raids that I've done in the past few days. The purpose of this video is to show you how I think and how you can learn from my mistakes. Anyway, our first raid is mediocre, but we end up getting out with a lot of gear, and for me, that's a win. The second raid, however, is what not to do, but I will save my explanation for later. Oh shit, okay, uh, follow me. I'm not gonna get that. Okay, don't worry then. So right off the bat, we spawn right outside RBVO, one of the marked room areas. This room has high value loot, so I rush to get inside. Oh my god. Hunter, have you spawned in yet? Nope. Fuck, I just got a weapons case. Oh shit. And I don't have a canted sight on my gun. Fuck! I feel kind of scared. I have 900,000 rubles in my backpack right now. Oh shit, wait, what? What does a weapons case do? It allows you to store a shit ton of weapons in a small space. Oh, fuck. Was so it's good for Yeah, it's good for stash organization. Okay, let's chill out for a second. So today I'm playing with my buddy Hunter. He's uh, pretty new at the game, so I'm just showing him around. Some good meds in there. Why don't you grab them? Uh, does Morphe do the same thing as painkillers? Yeah. Is it better? It's faster during combat because it's only like a two second use time versus like a three and a half. Okay. Car battery in here. Take the ammo that I put in there as well. Okay, okay, don't peek that way, don't peek that way. <laughs> so that was a raider and he basically just gave away my position to the entire map. And then he gets killed by another person, so this is going to get interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, I killed you. Now, obviously, I just killed Hunter, and I just wanted to include this part because I know everybody makes mistakes, and I want to make sure that everybody knows that it's okay to make mistakes. We got shot at from somewhere else. I thought that when you ran in front of me, I thought that you were a random scab the way you were dressed. So at this point, I'm running to this uh, western tower because I know we were getting shot from the east, so I'm trying to get eyes on whoever shot me. Circle thing. Yeah. Shit happens. <clears throat> Should I avenge you by killing myself? <laughs> I mean, at least the kill was clean. I killed you pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, what a shot that was. Is PRS ammo decent? No, it's garbage. It's like oh. the worst. That's the worst ammo in the game. That's why I'm named that. When I say worst ammo in the game, I mean five four five. I'm not talking about anything else. But here you see on the roof, I spot a guy and I start taking shots at him. You can see here that I'm very lucky to be alive as those shots just went low and they would have killed me if they hadn't. Now I start getting shot at from my left and this is another big no-no. Don't run your stamina all the way down because right here you can see that I'm caught out in the open and I'm not able to run away so I'm just trying to do this like salmon movement to get out. I go prone and I'm lucky that he doesn't kill me. I wasn't playing that well to be honest. I was getting shot up by like four different people, that was fucking... Ugh. So at this point, the guys that were shooting at me earlier are now shooting at the guy that just shot me. So they're having a fight, and I'm trying to locate where this guy went, and I know he's off to my right, or my west, as the cardinal directions go, and then the other people are off to my east. I see him. So I finally spot this guy, but I totally whiffed the shot because I put it on full auto. Fucker. So after whiffing that shot, I try to rotate around to RBAK by hopping out the window and going down through the through the window. Reason being, since this guy knows where I'm at, I'm just trying to throw him off and get out of the line of sight, just so I have a chance of surviving. So I head over to Queen server rooms in hopes of getting more loot, but uh, as I enter, somebody gets on the grenade launcher, and I think I hear footsteps within the building. So 
So at this point, I know I've heard footsteps, and I think he's in this room to my northeast, so I try to keep my eyes on both doors. A little rusty, but it got the job done. Fucking grenade launcher, man. He's using a PPSH. Wait, what? So I spot a second body, and turns out this guy was using an SV-98 and got killed by a scav. Alright, I'm heading to extraction now. <laughs> Taking the underground, because... Uh... I don't want to get shot going up the hill. So that's going to take longer, but... I still have 22 minutes. <laughs> I'm severely overweight. Yeah, you are. In game, retard. Fuck off. <laughs> Issue was when I killed you, I just immediately aimed for the head. Yeah. I'll show you the clip. It's kind of fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We are out. Holy shit! Oh my god. I have some insight into the raid overall. I was pretty jumpy. This was most likely due to the stress of the weapons case in my bag. Additionally, I was a little greedy. If I had ran into someone in the tunnels, I would have been caught off guard and my weight wouldn't have helped with mobility. That probably would have gotten me killed. Finally, I should have been killed multiple times. It was out of sheer luck that I didn't get capped up on the tower or on my way over to the pawn complex. But anyway, on to the next raid. This one's a little cringy. Uh, I got a little mad at the end. But honestly, we live and we learn. Be careful, this is a high traffic building. I went to the right when you go out the door. This is where shit gets important. I need you to do exactly what I do. I need to make sure that nobody's looking at us. Because this is a very risky move. Alright, ready? Come here. Yeah. Go immediately in the window. Yep. Oh shit, a Tetris. Alright, well, you can have the car battery if you want. <laughs> uh, no. You can take those as well. Go ahead. Oh, a graphics card. That's that's also really good. Okay, fuck. Here, crouch. Crouch, 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 crouch. I'm gonna give you this. Put that in your secure container. Where'd it go? Uh, right there. On the blue oh. laser. If you trade it for a Bitcoin, it's worth about 140. Damn! Look at another DVD. Scab's pissed at something. Oh, he's pissed at me. Got him. Alright, that is our cue to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Follow me. Follow me. Ooh, we're getting shot at. Serpentine, serpentine. Protect me. Oh shit, we have to take you to regular extraction. Fuck. Do you know how to get the regular extraction? Um... Fuck, I don't want to leave you unattended though. Oh. Come here, come here. Run, 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 run! Come on, don't, don't shoot at them! So I'm really trying to make up for what I did to Hunter last raid, and I'm trying to get him out alive, but it's very difficult. Follow me, follow me. So we got shot at from the north, and that's concerning because it was pretty close because I heard a scav die right next to me. Get, that scav just got shot at by a third party. How many black limbs do you have? Two. Okay. Sorry for ordering you around so much, that was just a really sticky situation. Got an AK on the wall there. Got some BP here. Take that because you need ammo. You need 739 right here. Those two ammos. Take those. Don't go out onto the roof yet. Okay. That's a middle of K. Take that paracord. There's, there's a lot of guys around us. Yeah, there is. Good observation. <laughs> <laughs> Looting is kind of hard in this game because you can't really tell if you're taking it, if you can take it or not. Yeah. <clears throat> take the BT out here. PS is shit, right? 
Shit, get, get in, get in, get inside, get inside, get inside. So usually I would take a firefight like that, but since I'm with a new player, it's really hard to pull your own weight, let alone two people, so I didn't want to take that fight if I didn't have to. Take this BS, right here. That's the second best ammo in the game. You have all the good ammos in your in your backpack right now. 7 and 39 okay. is the best. I feel like there's a scab in here. So I don't know what I was thinking. This approach was way too fast, and I ran up the stairs, not even expecting a player to be up here. There's a guy upstairs! He's up, he's up top, up top, third floor. Wait, run, 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 run! One second, one second, one second. Give me a second, give me a second. Rotate. So I decided to pull a pretty nasty flank, and in hindsight, this is a pretty good flank, but what's a flank without gun skills? Like, I, I couldn't hit a single shot on this guy if I tried. Let him push you, don't push him. I'm coming up the stairs again. I'm on the stairs waiting for him to push you. Oh. So I decided to start shooting through the crate, which I don't know why I did that. That was honestly why I lost the gunfight. I gave away my position. Um, I shouldn't have done that in the first place. Don't run in, don't run in. He's lagging, or I'm lagging or something. Cue the rage. Fuck, I'm dead! Fuck! Shit! He's in the room as soon as you go in the door to the left, that room immediately to the front. Anyway, guys, I hope you find that rage as funny as I did, and I hope you'll learn from my mistakes. If you didn't know, I just got my Discord server up and running, so I encourage you to join. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video or found it the least bit helpful, drop a like and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, pop them down below, and I'll be sure to answer anything you give me. I hope you all have a great day. Carrie, out for now. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, he's up top.